Fatty Liver, Wikipedia Audio Fatty liver is a reversible condition wherein large vacuoles of triglyceride fat accumulate in liver cells via the process of steatosis. Despite having multiple causes, fatty liver can be considered a single disease that occurs worldwide in those with excessive alcohol intake and the obese. The condition is also associated with other diseases that influence fat metabolism. When this process of fat metabolism is disrupted, the fat can accumulate in the liver in excessive amounts, thus resulting in a fatty liver. It is difficult to distinguish alcoholic FLD, which is part of alcoholic liver disease, from non-alcoholic FLD, and both show microvesicular and macrovesicular fatty changes at different stages. The accumulation of fat in alcoholic or non-alcoholic steatosis may also be accompanied by a progressive inflammation of the liver, called steatopatitis. This more severe condition may be termed either alcoholic steatopatitis or non-alcoholic steatopatitis. Up to 10% of people with cirrhotic alcoholic FLD will develop hepatocellular carcinoma. The overall incidence of liver cancer in non-alcoholic FLD has not yet been quantified, but the association is well established. Signs and Symptoms Fatty liver is commonly associated with alcohol or metabolic syndrome, but can also be due to any one of many causes. Fatty change represents the intracytoplasmatic accumulation of triglycerides. At the beginning, the hepatocytes present small fat vacuoles around the nucleus. In this stage, liver cells are filled with multiple fat droplets that do not displace the centrally located nucleus. In the late stages, the size of the vacuoles increases, pushing the nucleus to the periphery of the cell, giving characteristic signet ring appearance. These vesicles are well delineated and optically empty because fats dissolve during tissue processing. Large vacuoles may coalesce and produce fatty cysts, which are irreversible lesions. Macrovesicular steatosis is the most common form and is typically associated with alcohol, diabetes, obesity, and corticosteroids. Acute fatty liver of pregnancy and rise syndrome are examples of severe liver disease caused by microvesicular fatty change. The diagnosis of steatosis is made when fat in the liver exceeds 5-10% by weight. American Association for the Study of Liver Diseases, American Liver Foundation, Fatty Liver Disease, Canadian Liver Foundation, 00474 at chorus. Defects in fatty acid metabolism are responsible for pathogenesis of FLD, which may be due to imbalance in energy consumption and its combustion, resulting in lipid storage, or can be a consequence of peripheral resistance to insulin, whereby the transport of fatty acids from adipose tissue to the liver is increased. Impairment or inhibition of receptor molecules that control the enzymes responsible for the oxidation and synthesis of fatty acids appears to contribute to fat accumulation. In addition, alcoholism is known to damage mitochondria and other cellular structures, further impairing cellular energy mechanism. On the other hand, Non-alcoholic FLD may begin as excess of unmetabolized energy in liver cells. Hepatic steatosis is considered reversible and to some extent non-progressive if the underlying cause is reduced or removed. Severe fatty liver is sometimes accompanied by inflammation, a situation referred to as steatopatitis. Progression to alcoholic steatopatitis or non-alcoholic steatopatitis depends on the persistence or severity of the inciting cause. Pathological lesions in both conditions are similar. However, 
the extent of inflammatory response varies widely and does not always correlate with degree of fat accumulation. Steatosis and onset of steatopatitis may represent successive stages in FLD progression. Liver disease with extensive inflammation and a high degree of steatosis often progresses to more severe forms of the disease. Hepatocyte ballooning and necrosis of varying degrees are often present at this stage. Liver cell death and inflammatory responses lead to the activation of hepatic stellate cells, which play a pivotal role in hepatic fibrosis. The extent of fibrosis varies widely. Perisinusoidal fibrosis is most common, especially in adults, and predominates in zone 3 around the terminal hepatic veins. The progression to cirrhosis may be influenced by the amount of fat and degree of steatopatitis and by a variety of other sensitizing factors. In alcoholic FLD, the transition to cirrhosis related to continued alcohol consumption is well documented but the process involved in non-alcoholic FLD is less clear. Most individuals are asymptomatic and are usually discovered incidentally because of abnormal liver function tests or hepatomegaly noted in unrelated medical conditions. Elevated liver biochemistry is found in 50% of patients with simple steatosis. The serum alanine transaminase level usually is greater than the aspartate transaminase level in the non-alcoholic variant and the opposite in alcoholic FLD. Imaging studies are often obtained during the evaluation process. Ultrasonography reveals a bright liver with increased echogenicity. Medical imaging can aid in diagnosis of fatty liver. Fatty livers have lower density than spleens on computed tomography, and fat appears bright in T1-weighted magnetic resonance images. No medical imagery, however, is able to distinguish simple steatosis from advanced NASH. Histological diagnosis by liver biopsy is sought when assessment of severity is indicated. The treatment of fatty liver depends on its cause and, in general, treating the underlying cause will reverse the process of steatosis if implemented at an early stage. Two known causes of fatty liver disease are an excess consumption of alcohol and a prolonged diet containing foods with a high proportion of calories coming from lipids. For people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease with pure steatosis and no evidence of inflammation, a gradual weight loss is often the only recommendation. In more serious cases, medications that decrease insulin resistance, hyperlipidemia, and those that induce weight loss have been shown to improve liver function. Complications For advanced cases of non-alcoholic steatopatitis, there are no currently available therapies. Bariatric surgery while not currently recommended as a treatment for fatty liver disease alone, has been shown to revert FLD and advanced steatopatitis in over 90% of people who have undergone this surgery for the treatment of obesity. A number of dietary changes may be recommended, evidence to support them is limited as of 2017. The prevalence of FLD in the general population ranges from 10% to 24% in various countries. However, the condition is observed in up to 75% of obese people, 35% of whom progress to nefold, despite no evidence of excessive alcohol consumption. FLD is the most common cause of abnormal liver function tests in the United States. Fatty livers occur in 33% of European Americans, 45% of Hispanic Americans, and 24% of African Americans. Causes Pathology Diagnosis Treatment Epidemiology